Alright, hey everyone. This is Half Dude. I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys on the Hitman level of Curtains Down. Hitman is in Paris, France, and he has to uh, take out a famous tenor and the American ambassador. So, yeah, the first thing you can do is uh, go over to this security guard guy and get your pistol. Here is your jacket, sir. Then you take the pistol. You don't actually have to do any of this. It's a cutscene. Don't you want the jacket, sir? No, just needed something from one of the pockets. I'll pick it up later. That's not, you know, suspicious or anything. So yeah, the, what I do is I get one of those two dudes talking right there, the worker guys. So yeah, the painter or worker or whatever that guy is, he leaves. The other guy goes to the bathroom. So sneak on in, do your hitman thing. We don't want to kill him, so, you know, be detrimental to our score, so let's get out our sedative and jab. And go hide him in the conveniently placed body box. Gonna kinda be bad to be that dude. You're gonna wake up a few hours later and you're inside a laundry box naked. Well, not naked, but pretty much. You know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, now you've instantly been hired by this place to be a painter or whatever you are. Now, if you wanted to, uh, you could take that uh, toolbox that was right there and hide your pistol in it. But you can only hide one pistol in it, so make sure you don't bring your silver ballers with you or something, unless you want to leave them in the bathroom, but then you might have someone come in there and pick them up and take them. Which sucks. <clears throat> so now we're going into the basement. In the bathroom right there is a box that the agency leaves where you can pick up your rifle if you want one that doesn't come in a case, which I don't know how you'd be able to carry it around. It's kind of so here's your uh, first kind of mini task. So you have to pick this, pick lock this door, and uh, make sure no one sees you when you're doing it. So turn around, look in the eyes in the back of your head, and make sure the guy's not looking. And pick it. Picks pretty quick, a lot, a lot quicker than a lot of other doors. Are in the basement where they build the sets and crap. I am war. Now get back up behind the stage. You go up down here, and there's this room right here. It's part of an Easter egg for the game. There's three rats. You kill all of them with your silenced pistol. A uh, rat club card will come up on that table right in front of me, and uh, you can use it to get into this one room that has some rats in a club. I'll show you where it is when we get to it. So yeah, another time warp we go up, and there's the tenor. He's practicing the play where he gets executed. It's like a World War One play or whatever. Called Tosca. Hey, hi. I'm just passing through, ladies. Yeah. Just so you know, that doesn't count towards your score, so go ahead and indulge yourself in that. And there's one of the uh, ambassador's bodyguards. He's like the lazy one that falls asleep all the time, so you don't really have to worry about him. I don't know why you'd want to, but he goes to the bathroom. You can sedate him and get his outfit if you want. So I can go up here another time. I have a new electric I That's the room right there with the metal door. You use the Rat Club key card in there and you'll... I won't tell you what it is if you haven't seen it. You can... It's pretty enjoyable though. Right here you get the card. Or the lighthouse box. Or the, you know, where they control the soundboard and all that stuff. Perfect sniping spot. I always prefer doing this way. Because it just seems like such a classic assassin way of doing things. So the whole goal is, is 
because I was going to wait until the scene where the tenor gets shot because there's a big boom with the orchestra and just kind of like following a, uh, Abraham Lincoln's assassination we're going to use the sound to mask our uh, sniper rifle boom and shoot him and people are going to think he's acting at least for a little while you can also do it multiple ways like the pistol you can switch the pistol in the executioner actor's room and he'll shoot him himself because <laughs> it has real bullets it's not a prop gun like he th thinks it is you gotta take care of this dude because as you'll see we're gonna plant a bomb on the uh, big chandelier in the place and sometimes he walks in and out of there and he could actually accidentally get killed by the blast and then he'll make our score not good because it's collateral damage which is a good uh, assassin movie if you ever have seen it hitman-esque so now I'm gonna go back down there's the stage down there you can also plant one on the lights right there and have them fall on the tinner that's what I love about this game, there's so many possibilities. Hey, ladies. Oh, yeah. Here's the rat room again. Now, pretty much all of this is backtracking. But now, instead of going down to your right, we're going to go straight. Because this way we can get the nail gun, which is kind of a useless weapon because you have to shoot him in the head to kill him, kill anyone, but uh, it's kind of cool because you get to put it in your weapons gallery. But just make sure none of these worker dudes are looking at you when you pick it up because they'll freak out. It's kind of weird, but they'll freak out. So yeah, this guy's having a drink of pop or whatever, so go take it, stash it. Now we're on the first floor. You need to go all the way to the third floor, which I just jumped to. There's the light room. And it'd probably be best since people are gonna suspect this is where he was shot from, you know, first, you know, so people don't know it was you. Make sure no one's watching you when you go inside. So here we are, our little base of operations. Unpack your sniper rifle. At this point in the game, if you're playing it from the beginning, you're not gonna have enough money to get a silencer for the rifle, so this is important that you wait for the boom. And duck. Don't just keep standing there like ducks so people don't see you standing with a rifle. If you've played the level enough, you can listen to the music and tell when the climax of the play is going to happen. But if you're looking through the scope like I was, you can just see when the guy raises his gun when to shoot. So now you wait till there he is, there's an ambassador, he trips, then ah smash. And yeah, I should check to make sure that cop isn't there. Oh well. You wanna to try to get out of there as quick as you can. <laughs> you get your suit, so you don't have the suit retrieval. And then you walk out. Here's a little ending cutscene. This is the uh, prequel to uh, Hitman 3, where he's shot. This is the guy that shoots him.